Avishai Cohen on Jazz 88 to wrap up the afternoon cruise. Thank you to everybody who uh, joined along, got the trivia question right. We had a little fun today, and I certainly appreciate everybody who has tuned in. Heard some Robert Glasper before that with his R plus R equals now group. And Robert Glasper is going to be back in the Twin Cities doing a multi-night stand to Dakota. Two shows a night on Friday the 15th, Saturday the 16th, and Sunday the 17th of December. And friendly reminder to you, December is a matter of hours away. Yes, we are moving into the final month of the year. Certainly would love your support for Jazz 88 before we hit Jan 1. So please step up and make a donation if that works for you and your budget. Jazz88.fm to pledge your support. Danny Sigelman is getting ready to bring us an uh, enjoyable installment of Jazz Futures. And he's also here to teach me about the term chirp, which has something or other to do with hockey. Right now, one more update from our good man. His name's Sonny Lane. He's standing by at the RTMC with a copious traffic update. Hey there, Sonny. Hey there, Sean. In St. Paul, West 94 is reduced to two lanes, starting at Highway 280 for road maintenance work until tomorrow at 4 p.m. In Minneapolis, West 94 is reduced to three lanes, starting at Highway 55 for road work. And in Savage, Highway 101 is reduced to one lane at Highway 13 for construction work until 7 p.m. this evening. And this evening, Jazz 88 will bring you information on closures and event congestion through 11 p.m. I'm Sonny Lane reporting for Jazz 88 Traffic. I'll see you at my house, Sonny, with a uh, bottle of that Blanc de Blanc, baby. I'm bringing a bottle of Blanc de Blanc, this one from Renoir, and it is from the, Re the Reims uh, region of France, of course. Bonjour. 88.5 KBEM FM, Minneapolis, St. Paul, jazz88.fm on the web, a listener-supported service of Minneapolis Public Schools. Tonight, lows in the lower 20s and the northern lights visible outside of the urban bubble if you head north to Hinkley. Lows in the lower 20s, I think I already mentioned that, partly sunny tomorrow with highs in the mid-30s, right now 33 and overcast in the Twin Cities. Although it was a sad day when we had to get rid of the car, it makes me happy that we were able to turn an old friend into some of the public radio programs that I know and love. Your vehicle can power programming. Visit jazz88.fm slash support.
Oh, man. KBM Jazz Futures here. Danny Sigelman with you. Shout out to our brother, Shane McGowan, who passed. I woke up this morning, saw the news, and, uh, you know, immediately went to the Christmas song, as I'm sure many have. And uh, just so many fond memories of that voice and that music will live on forever. And uh, we just heard a song from the Pogues and that was the sunny side of the street jazz futures. We are here again and I'm so excited to be with you. I've had, you know, it's been a tough week a little bit, man. I've been sick. I've been kind of nursing something and, and, but I found a lot of great musical inspiration and, uh, all over the Twin Cities this week. And it just keeps rolling here. And that's what I hope to kind of channel and bring to you in all its forms here on the Jazz Future, as we do here on Jazz 88 every day. Shout out to Sean McPherson, hooked me up here in the studio, and we're just going to carry on your future for the next couple hours here, as we do every Wednesday and Thursday on Jazz 88. Sean hit me to this. I've been kind of, we, you know, we get in here, we kind of talk about some music. We're all hanging out, listening to music all the time here, and it's what we try to bring you in on. And uh, Sean hit me to this record, um, cat named uh, Brandon Sanders. Uh, he may be heard on his show. This song is pretty pretty dope. It's called Body and Soul. Um, Brandon Sanders, a drummer, so he's he's part of my family, uh, being a drummer myself. So we call ourselves the Brothers of the Stick. It's Brandon Sanders here on Jazz eighty eight Jazz Futures. <laughs> No, that's the Pogue. See, he, it, sh Shane won't stop. That's how it goes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's Jazz ADH Jazz Futures and the Beastie Boys catching me off guard there a little bit, guys. Um, that's going back to their mix up record. We're just gonna let them keep rolling here as Beastie Boys tend to do. Uh, really cool instrumental record. I'm trying to find the year on here. Came out long ago, folks. But this is Jazz Futures, and we are bringing all sorts of sounds space from outer space and or otherwise. Before that was a track from the new CD from Brandon Sanders, and uh, it's called Compton's Find Us. You know, I played that Body and Soul record because I was really impressed by the tenor saxophone player on that record. Chris Lewis tore it up, a uh, beautiful version of that song. From Brandon Sanders. Records called Compton Finest on Jazz Futures here. Danny Sigelman with you. And we are having a great night so far. I hope you are too. And I'm just excited to, to be here. And we are going to have some Rasan Roland Kirk. It's coming up right after this. Start the weekend the right way. Listen to an hour of brand new jazz on This Just In, Fridays at noon on Jazz 88. On This Just In, we'll celebrate some new sounds from saxophone heavy J.D. Allen off of his new album, This. We'll also get a little holiday flavor from Gregory Porter featuring Samara Joy. And we'll get big band sounds from the Airmen of Note featuring saxophonist Melissa Aldana, who also composed the tune, Eminem. Enjoy this track and more Friday at noon on This Just In on Jazz 88.
man. Talk about a workout. If you could, you know, if only we had a webcam in here, you see me moving and grooving. Banda Black Rio, going back to 1977, that was the title track to their Maria Fumasha. I'm trying to adapt to some Portuguese pronunciation there. Just a fantastic record, um, full of party jams like that. So hopefully that got you moving as well. Before that, we heard the Blackbirds. Wilford's gone. Shout out to Fly... Uh, excuse me, Flyway, Flywave Records, and uh, that was a Black Friday release. Fly Records, okay, Jazz Dispensary compilation that uh, was put out last week. So got to check out Wilford's Gone from the Blackbirds. Started off the set with Rasan Roland Kirk, his version, I think one of many versions of uh, Ain't No Sunshine that he recorded. So loving the vibes tonight. Thank you. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying the show. And you know what? I just got a fancy new email around here for Jazz88, Danny at Jazz88.com. We are moving into the future here, technology-wise. So if you want to give me a shout-out, you're certainly welcome to Jazz Futures every Wednesday and Thursday night here on Jazz88, KBEM, and your favorite source for jazz and traffic. And this, we're going to some more new music here. I saw that uh, Hiromi came through town this year. I missed her show. Big fan of Hiromi from Japan. One of the more incredible pianists of our uh, generation. And we are going to go to her. We've been talking about like some of our favorite jazz releases of the year. And uh, this is certainly up there. It's called Sonic Wonderland. We're going to hear the song Bonus Stage. I like to think... I'm always in the bonus stage of life and taking advantage of it when I can and playing it for you as part of that. It's right here on Jazz 88 Jazz Futures. It's Hiromi.
This is Jazz Futures. Danny Sigelman with you here tonight on Jazz 88, playing some of my favorites from 2023. That's another, if you can't tell, just fantastic record. Uh, the artist is John Carroll Kirby. It's called Blowout. It came out this year on the Stones Throw label. We heard the song Mates, and um, he's just an incredible keyboard composer programmer. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I saw him perform and it was just him. It was quite an orchestra of sounds coming out of his uh, setup that he had going on. So that was a really great musical moment for me this year at the Turf Club over in there in St. Paul. So hopefully he'll come back and it'd be great to uh, hear some new music from him in the new year. Shirley Scott, before that, we went a little ways back with her and that was from her soul duo record with uh, Clark Terry. We heard Taj Mahal. And again, I think I'm kind of obsessed with Mickey Roker, the drummer on that record. I've been just going to so many records unintentionally that he he happens to be on so that's going to be a wormhole i got to go down the uh, not super familiar with him as a drummer but uh that's why you learn something new every day listening to jazz 88 started the set off with haromi and the song was bonus stage that was from her 2023 release one of our favorites around here at jazz 88 it's called sonic wonderland okay i think we're gonna go into a little weather right now how about that you know it was kind of a chill day i mean it's cold but it wasn't like freezing so we're kind of still enjoying the fall i hope you are too 33 degrees in the twin cities looks like uh tonight we're going to go down to about 20 degrees hopefully those northern lights are rocking for you i'm gonna i'm gonna leave the studio here tonight and try to go check some out myself and hopefully i'm just the perfect soundtrack for your northern lights experience traffic in st paul check out west 94 which is reduced to two lanes starting at highway 280 from road maintenance work minneapolis west 94 is reduced to three lanes starting at highway 55 and in savage highway 101 is reduced to one lane at highway 13 downtown uh the timberwolves play tonight at seven and uh, we'll probably be getting out what th- those games go about a few hours couple hours 9 30 or so so uh look out for traffic downtown minneapolis uh, during that, hopefully, big win for the Timberwolves tonight. Not sure how they're doing. Maybe we'll get a little report. Danny at jazz88.com. Hit me up and check out some more new music from 2023. This record, uh, the late great Tony Allen, another great drummer, uh, passed away years ago, uh, 20, oh, 2020. And I, uh, this stuff was recorded with Adrian Young, which so this po- posthumous release, but all unreleased music, brand new on the airwaves for you. Here's Tony Allen here on Jazz 88, Jazz Futures. Thank you. 
It's Jazz 88 and Jazz Futures. Your friend Danny Sigelman with you here tonight. Man, I that record just always smokes. And I, yeah, there was a period of time I thought George Benson was like really cheesy. Like, I don't know what you want to call it. Like, um, coffee shop jazz, like elevator jazz or something. I don't know. I, I just was naive. I was young. Give me a break. Uh, Turn Your Love Around was like his big hit. And I was like, I don't get this, you know, but now I just love that stuff. And when I finally heard the Bad Benson record, which uh, came out in like 74, and I heard that version of Take Five, I was like, oh man, okay, I get it. And then as I grew up, just loving George Benson's guitar playing and all the people he puts together in the studio and whatnot. So if you're on the fence about George Benson, go out and grab the Bad Benson record. I mean, if you know, you know. Uh, the CTI label put out a really lot of great stuff back then. So we have them to thank for that record. Tony Allen in there before that. One of our favorites around here from 2023. A, a collaboration that was recorded, obviously, before he passed. <laughs> Adrian Young. Uh, and we heard the song Ola Depo from that record. It's called... Uh, it's on the Jazz is Dead label. So... Danny Sigelman with you for Jazz Futures tonight. This is 88.5 KBM FM, Minneapolis, St. Paul, and jazz88.fm, listener-supported service of Minneapolis Public Schools. I'm just really excited to be with you here tonight and, you know, enjoying the energy that I think the Northern Lights are bringing for us here. So if I can be the soundtrack for you, I'm, I'm just honored. Uh, and, uh, you know, get, send me, I, I would love to see, do people, are, is it on the internet yet? Or are the Northern Lights on the internet? Uh, we're going to go to a, uh, more music here. This is Eduardo Fabini, and we're going to hear his song. It's called Tema Sobre Campo. It's here on Jazz 88, Jazz Futures. <laughs> Well, I lied. I lied. That was Taj Mahal. He was supposed to be next. Here we go.
Oh man, I hope you're feeling the vibes. You feeling those vibes? Those Jazz 88 Jazz Future vibes? I'm putting them out there. Hopefully you're feeling them. Danny Sigelman and Donald Bird, man. Talk about a disco jazz hall of famer. Uh, I'm just obsessed with him. And uh, that's another incredible record of his, uh, the uh, title track from Stepping Into Tomorrow. A lot of players on this record. I'm not sure who's on that one, but I know Harvey Mason for sure on the drums. Just one of my favorite brothers of the stick. Seems to be a theme tonight. I do like those drums. Before that, we heard another great drummer, of course, Mr. Max Roach. And uh, a recent reissue from the Atlantic label, it's called Members Don't Get Weary, a 1968 record of his. Um, more great players on that, including Gary Bartz, Charles Tolliver, Stanley Cowell, and Jamie Merritt. And uh, we heard the song Abstrusions from that incredible ensemble. Started the set. Oh, no, we did Taj Mahal in there. We finally got him in there and Chevrolet and started the set off with uh, Brazilian composer composer Eduardo, I'm sorry, Uruguayan composer Eduardo Fabini and the group Maranta performing his, Maranata performing Tema Sobre Campo. Yeah. Okay. It's Jazz 88. Danny Sigelman with you. And I'm just having a blast. If you couldn't tell, it's like, I'm just flying. I feel like, wasn't there a full moon this week? And now you got the Northern Lights. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm about to wolf out. So just be careful. Be careful what, what you're, what I put out that <laughs> and it's all, it's all love really. Uh, okay. We are going to get into the music cause I'm getting a little tongue tied, I think. And I think we are going to hear a song from a uh, Cape Verde singer, Cesaria Avora, a big fan of her, the late great. And I remember seeing her in that building downtown that has prints on the side, you know, it's got like a, uh, He's wearing a suit that says Minneapolis on that. I believe I, what they used to call that building. Um, incredible building. I th it's a church now, but uh, they used to have some musical performances there. So we're going to hear a song. I, I believe she, this was the record she was touring on at the time. Sao Diade, Cesara Avora here on Jazz Futures.
minha terra se me entrava Saudade, saudade Saudade, se minha terra se me entrava Saudade, saudade today. It's old, it's new, it's played fast and clean. Phil Nussbaum here. Bluegrass Saturday morning keeps you up to date on bluegrass, old time, and progressive acoustic. Locally, nationally, and internationally. 7 till noon every Saturday on KBEM 88.5 FM. Streamed and archived at jazz88.fm. See you there. Experiencing an injury or illness? Wondering if you'll be able to keep your job or when you can return to work? The Minnesota Retain program may be able to help. Participants may qualify for free support from experts who can guide you through the next steps to get you back to work quickly and safely. Visit mnretain.com or call 507-284-4537 to learn more. Minnesota Retain is fully funded under a grant awarded by the U.S. Department of Labor and the Social Security Administration. This message is brought to you by Minnesota Retain, this station, and the Minnesota Broadcasters Association. Association.
elegía de quienes ya no son, como si hubiera una región en que el ayer pudiera ser el hoy, el aún y el todavía. ¿Dónde estará, repito, el malevaje que fundó en polvorientos callejones de tierra o en perdidas poblaciones la secta del cuchillo y del coraje? ¿Dónde estarán aquellos que pasaron dejando a la epopeya un episodio, una fábula al tiempo y que sin odio, lucro, o pasión de amor se acuchillaron los busco en su leyenda en la postrera brasa que a modo de una vaga rosa guarda algo de esa chumba valerosa de los corrales y de balvanera qué oscuros callejones o qué yermo del otro mundo habitará la dura sombra de aquel que era una sombra oscura, muraña, ese cuchillo de Palermo. Y ese Iberra fatal, de quien los santos se apiaden, que en un puente de la vía mató a su hermano el ñato, que debía más muertes que él, y así igualó los tantos. Una mitología de puñales lentamente se anula en el olvido. Una canción de gesta se ha perdido en sórdidas noticias policiales. Hay otra brasa, otra candente rosa de la ceniza que los guarda enteros. Ahí están los soberbios cuchilleros y el peso de la daga silenciosa. Aunque la daga hostil o esa otra daga, el tiempo, los perdieron en el fango, hoy, más allá del tiempo y de la asiaga muerte, esos muertos viven en el tango. En la música están, en el cordaje de la terca guitarra trabajosa que traba en la milonga aventurosa la fiesta y la inocencia del coraje. Gira en el hueco la amarilla rueda de caballos y leones y oigo el eco de esos tangos de arola y de greco que yo he visto bailar en la vereda. En un instante que hoy emerge aislado, sin antes ni después contra el olvido y que tiene el sabor de lo perdido, de lo perdido y lo recuperado. En los acordes hay antiguas cosas. El otro patio y la entrevista parra. Detrás de las paredes recelosas, el sur guarda un puñal y una guitarra. Esa ráfaga, el tango, esa diablura, los atareados años desafía. Hecho de polvo y tiempo, el hombre dura menos que la liviana melodía, que solo es tiempo. El tango crea un turbio pasado irreal que de algún modo es cierto. Un recuerdo imposible de haber muerto peleando en una esquina del suburbio. It's Jazz 88 and Aster Pizzola, Piazzola, and I think a lesson in the tango. That's going out to our tango dancers in Fridley tonight. So hope you enjoyed that. Before that, we heard uh, Jose Feliciano did uh, his Bob Dylan, I'll Be Your Baby Tonight. Fantastic version of that song. Cesaria Vora started the set off with Sodade. It's Jazz Futures, Danny Sigelman with you here again tonight, and it is currently 33 degrees in the Twin Cities. Looks like it's going to get down to about 20 uh, for the overnight, and tomorrow, partly sunny, highs in the mid-30s. It's going to get colder 
uh, I think over the weekend. So not not back up to something a little warmer until next Wednesday. So currently uh, uh, some closures going on in St. Paul. West 94 is reduced to two lanes starting at Highway 280 for road maintenance work. Minneapolis West 94 is reduced to three lanes starting at Highway 55. And in Savage, Highway 101 is reduced to one lane at Highway 13 for construction work. Uh, which is done by now. So that's all cleared up. More music coming up here. Uh, this record, Just a Smoking. The Desco label put out some really cool stuff years ago and then didn't last for very long. But uh, this record, Sugar Man 3, it's called Sugar's Boogaloo. And we're going to hear a song from it. It's called Suzy Q. It's here on Jazz Futures. <laughs>
436 people in Hennepin County alone died from drug overdose deaths last year. The Minnesota Poison Control System is responsible for providing immediate medical treatment recommendations for poisonings and overdoses. Call 1-800-222-1222 anytime. Use of the number is especially encouraged for opioid overdoses that require naloxone administration. Call 1-800-222-1222. Hi, this is Peter Solomon. Join me for the morning show for the full spectrum of jazz. Everything from swing to bop, Latin to hip-hop, plus timely updates on news, sports, and traffic. The morning show, 6 to 10 weekdays on Jazz 88.
Music from Youssef Latif, and the record is Jazz Around the World, and we heard the song Ringo Oiwake, and uh, that so- that record, you know, I was trying to figure out, maybe that was the bass doing most of the percussion work on that one. Um, Emmy Farrow was the bass player on that one. Uh, we heard Lex Humphreys on drums, Richard Williams on trumpet, and Hugh Lawson on piano with Youssef Latif on I think he was playing, was he playing some bassoon on that? Uh, in any case, it's just a fantastic record. came out in 1964 on the Impulse label, one of my favorites. Before that, some Afro-funk explosion. The group was called Who, not The Who, but uh, that funky number was switch number one. Started the set off with Sugar Man and their version of Suzy Q. That's going back to 1998 and their record Sugar's Boogaloo on the late great Desco label. I think some of those folks kind of picked up the um, picked up the reins and started the Daptone label. So there's some origins there if I'm remembering correctly. This is Jazz 88, Jazz Futures. Danny Sigelman with you. Winding up uh, pretty soon here. We're going up until 9 o'clock and then my man Nate Milstein will be taking over for the function as he does every Thursday night here on Jazz 88. Going into some Miles Davis. We haven't played any of his stuff tonight. I always like to play some Miles. I think he uh, this this track in particular, that, that, that quintet era uh, with uh, Tony Williams on drums and Ron Carter and Herbie Hancock, Wayne Shorter. I think this song especially might really suit the Northern Lights. So turn it up. Uh, it's Miles Davis here on Jazz 88, Jazz Futures. <laughs> Thank you. 
false ending right curtis mayfield give me your love here on jazz 88 we you know, it's inevitable i get into the soul groove the closer we get to the function at nine o'clock here on jazz 88 the more i get into that soul groove so thank you curtis we heard uh donny hathaway and roberta flack just classic uh soul jazz funk whatever you want to call that record it's a classic 1972 essential listenings do a deep dive on that record miles davis quintet started the set off and we heard circle from uh the miles smiles record and just a few minutes left in the show here thanks so much for hanging out danny sigelman with you here on jazz futures i just have a blast whenever i get the opportunity to be in here with you on a thursday night and looking forward to doing much more. So have a great night. And I'm going to leave you with some Rufus. And my man, uh, Nate Milstein, will be taking over the function here at 9 o'clock here on Jazz 88. Jazz 88. Jazz 88. 